Jacob Geldof was knighted for his work in tackling the famine in Ethiopia. Others too have been making a difference in Africa in their own way. Alan Claridge from Bournemouth has been taking aid to Zimbabwe for decades. He organises donations of equipment and medicines from across the south. And he's just returned from his latest trip to Zimbabwe, a country still facing severe hardships. As a water engineer, he's able to help protect water supplies in hospitals and isolated communities. Steve Tolley went with him to film his work. Zimbabwe as the government would like you to see it, home to one of the world's natural wonders, Victoria Falls. What you're not supposed to see are the food shortages. Nearby, villagers have shot an elephant which was eating dwindling crops. They're going to dry the meat because we don't have refrigerators at all. Then from there you'll be cutting pieces, then cooking for your family. How many people will this feed? Uh, approximately 100. OK, and for how long do you think? Uh, maybe a week or so. Bulawayo is the country's second city, but even here the hospital is in dire need. Basic facilities such as medicines and power are in short supply or disrepair. Alan Claridge set up his charity after working as a kidney dialysis technician in Harare during the 80s. Each year he returns installing and servicing water filtration systems in hospitals. In fact today the headlines say cuts in water forecast and when that happens certainly this can feed the hospital and the patients that are in desperate need. Alan's filters are depended on by staff at this rural hospital. They provide the only source of pure water for over 100 kilometres. Purified water is vital for mixing drugs and testing for HIV. The use of it has been such that it's helped over 3 million people in over 16 hospitals in the country. Alan doesn't just bring his expertise, he brings wooden crates packed with aid from the south of England. Everyday items like paracetamol are expensive and can be difficult for the hospital to source. I would like to extend our profound gratitude to Reverend Alan Claridge for his unwavering support. HIV is rampant in Zimbabwe. At this school, a quarter of the children have lost one or both parents. The charity put in this well at the school a number of years ago, but now it's damaged and needs repairing. This is split and it's got a sharp edge and the children are cutting their hands on it, as you can see. Replacement parts will be high on his list for the next visit. Alan's determined to keep the waters flowing in a part of Africa he loves. People suffer, and what we're doing is helping people to live a better life and a more healthy life. Alan Claridge ending that report in Zimbabwe.